Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. If you are new around here, hi my name is Madeline and I am so happy that you are here today. Thank you for clicking on my video. I hope you enjoy. Today I'm going to be getting ready for me and Ian's four year anniversary. Which is just crazy to me because four years is a long time. That's a long time to be with someone. So we're going to be getting ready. We are going to Maggiano's which is an Italian restaurant so I'm very excited. The lighting, when I use these lights in my room, I don't know what it is. I feel like I say it in every single video that I film in here. The lighting fluctuates a lot. It makes me look really yellow and then it'll change and be fine lighting. I don't really know what it is. I try to edit it, but if you notice the lighting changing throughout the video, I'm sorry. I, I don't know how to fix it. I've tried really hard to fix it. I've tried working with settings on the camera. I don't know what it is because they're just like light bulbs. Like they're nothing special. They might be LED bulbs, but I don't know. Those are other places and they don't mess with the lighting like these lights do. So. I don't really know, but we are going to go ahead and jump on into the video, and I am also going to be answering some questions um, that you guys asked on Instagram, kind of like a relationship Q&A, sort of. First thing, we are going to be using this Benefit Pore Fashional Pore Primer. I absolutely love this. And the first question is the hardest thing about Ian being in NROTC. So if you don't know, Ian is in naval ROTC at his um college and it's really it's not hard because it's not really like he doesn't go to boot camp he doesn't deploy or anything he's just on his college campus and a lot of the times he can get weekends off and come see me it's not like the same thing as being active duty this summer he does go to summer training which it's only a month so again not really comparable to active duty he will be going for a month in the summer to do different military training stuff. I don't really know what all he's doing. That'll probably be hard because he won't be able to talk to me very much. He can still even have his phone. Like it's literally, it's not awful at all. Like I don't really have any room to complain at all because it's really super, it's super easy. He's so busy all the time. I don't get to talk to him very much and he's a college student on top of it. And then his little thing this summer, I'm sure will be hard because that's the longest we've been apart, which again, not comparable to active duty. He will be active duty once he graduates. So I will get to experience that as well. You guys like the color match there? It matches my neck. Okay. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte. You guys already know shade 280. Use this in every single video because I own two foundations. So um, not much to say about that. Favorite thing about each other. Um, well, he's in class. I was going to call him for this video and be like, what's your favorite thing about me? But he's in school right now. So I um, can't call him. But my favorite thing about Ian. So this beauty blender is just a random one from like TJ Maxx. It came in like a set. I got it for Christmas. My favorite thing about Ian. Definitely like I feel like this is so like cheesy and like everyone says this. But like it's so true. And it's just his heart. He is literally the nicest person I know. And cares a lot about others. Will go out of his way to help anyone. He's just so loving and thoughtful and kind to me as well. Like, I keep saying, like, yo, he's so nice to everyone. He just goes above and beyond for me all the time. When slash where did we meet? So, we are actually from the same hometown. Went to the same school. We actually rode the same bus when we were kids. So, like, we always knew each other. When we became friends and stuff was we... Oh, concealer I'm using. I'm so bad at these. It's the Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer. Best thing I've ever used in my life. Favorite concealer and I'm shade CN40. Anyways, so we both did musicals in high school. I did not sing though. I was a dancer in the musicals and then he actually sings. We both met. It was Anything Goes. I was a sophomore and he was a freshman and we became friends then and then I actually got a boyfriend right after that and he like didn't really let me talk to Ian so we really weren't friends over the summer then me and said boyfriend broke up and Ian just swept me off my feet from there actually he didn't he tried and I shot him down so many times poor man I don't know how he still liked me luckily he stayed around and he's super sweet I love him now so glad he stuck around there was our first date we actually um we went to a movie what movie did we see I think our first date was when Aladdin came out I don't know. I really don't remember. That was just so long ago. Who said I love you first? 
um, Ian did. <laughs> For powder, I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. This stuff is so good. I used to use Airspun powder and they changed the formula, I guess, because a lot of people said they hate it now, but I started using this one and I really love it. So we're gonna take the powder on the sponge and just put it under my eyes because eye wrinkles. That's gonna sit and we're gonna do our eyebrows. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift. I absolutely love this stuff. It is so freaking good. I really need my eyebrows tweezed really bad, but we're gonna make them work. The next question was how often do we get to see each other because we are both in different colleges and just busy with work, ROTC, all that sort of thing. And um, we see each other like at least at least every three weeks usually it's every other weekend so like it's really not too bad at all I know there's other like distance relationships where they don't see each other for months and months and months and I'm just grateful that he's not too far and that um my schedule works to where I can usually come home we see each other pretty often so it's really, it's not too bad. So next question is, when are we getting married? Um, I'm going to take this powder and put it everywhere and dust this off. So um, we are waiting until he graduates. Um, we're not engaged yet. So I guess if he proposes before then, but that is our plan as of now is to wait until he graduates. Next we're going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and we are just gonna bronze everywhere. This is one of my favorites. We are going to use the Sugar Cosmetics blush in the shade Peach Peak. And the, the next question is how many kids do you guys want? So he has always said that he wants two boys. Now, look at me, guys. Look at my life. You think I can be a boy mom? No, I'm having a girl. I would like four. I don't care the gender. I would really love a girl, but if I have four boys, I don't know if a fifth child is a good idea. It's also as of now, um, obviously I don't have kids yet and we won't be having kids for several more years. So that could change since I have my first child. Next, we're gonna use the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. Um, I haven't been big into highlighters lately, but if I do wear a highlighter, it is this one. That is the face makeup. We are going to do some eyeshadow. I think I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I'm not going to do anything too, too crazy because I am going to put lashes on and you want to be able to see it. I'm not really going to say a whole lot of what I'm doing with my eyeshadow because I do this same exact video with this exact palette in another video. I he uses quite frequently if you cannot tell. I'm gonna start with this color here. I'm just gonna put that all in my crease, all over. Then I'm gonna take this color here and put it in my outer crease. We're gonna go a tick bit darker and I think we're gonna go in with this on the very outer. I'm just gonna go in with this little shimmer shade here and I think that's it. I'm gonna take a tiny little brush and use this color and just pop that underneath my eyes. and take this white shade and just do some inner corner highlight and pop that on my brow bone. And that is the eyeshadow. I'm just gonna put on a thin little line of eyeliner. This is the Maybelline Master Precise. And I'm going to put a quick little coat of CoverGirl Exhibitionist. And for lashes, I'm using these ones I got on Amazon. Um, I think they're linked to my storefront. I can link them down below for you guys. They are freaking bomb. I think this is medium. 
you had to put these on, I just use this Kiss Lash Glue Liner. It's so good. I use these little tweezers. They came with a magnetic set of lashes. So good. I love using these for lashes. So I'm going to set all this with the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Setting Spray. I'm almost out of this, but it works really well. And I'm not going to put this on yet because I'm going to go do my hair, but I'm going to use the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick. This is in the shade Sandstorm. I absolutely love this. It is a perfect nude lipstick. But first, I'm going to go curl my hair and then I will show you guys the finished look. I didn't even really get to that many questions, but this is the finished look. I just kind of brushed my curls out. This side fell out kind of a lot, but it's fine. And then I'm wearing just this black fitted dress. It's just like a, a fitted little dress from TJ Maxx. And then I am wearing this jean jacket with little stars on it. It is from Eros Boutique. I'm going to wear my white Chinese laundry booties with it. Just my normal Pandora ring necklace Ian got me. And then these earrings are from Amazon. That is the finished get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video.